Ready? Yep. Okay. Hi, welcome back. I'm Anastasia, the lead physical therapist here at Movement Physical Therapy. And I'm David. And today we'll be doing our level three dynamic stretching in our dynamic stretching series. So this is going to be for people who have um, either come proficient or mastered level two. Uh, much of the movements that we've seen today are building off of those level one and level two movements. Great. Let's get started. Great. Okay. So first one, first exercise is going to be again a hip around the world, but we're going to be doing it with a straight leg this time. If you're like David and you don't have the available hip range of motion, you can always hold on to something. So he's actually going to back up against the wall and use the wall as a prop to hold on to. So we'll start sideways. I'll actually face the same direction as David. <laughs> so. For those of us that want a little bit of extra, you actually want to keep your hip rotated open with a straight leg as we do this. For those of us that just are trying to get around, hip straight is fine. You're going to bring your leg up, you're going to bring it around, all the way back, and then together. And if you can, you're going to keep balancing on the same foot without letting it drop. Again, up, around, to the back, two, up, around, back. There, right, there, squat. 
eight, down, left, there, right, there, nine, last one, left, there, right, there, sequence. The way to make this harder is your heel is going to be on the ground as low as you can and no arm assist unless you're going down to the plank. All right, we're going to start the same. Down into a squat, heels down. You're going to walk out to a high plank. You're going to bring your left leg in front, arms up right here. You're going to pivot left. Now arms are going to push right front lunge. Pivot to the side. Good. Push to the left. Hands down. Plank. Right leg in front. Heel down. Arms up. Pivot. Good. Push to the left. Front one. Good. Left side. Push right front. Hands down. Plank. Walk back. Squat. And step back up. Side. Ooh. Left. Side. 
eyes. Right. exercise we're going to be doing a more some lumbar thoracic rotation with going from a squat to a running lunge again all right so you want to start in a squat heels down we're going to come back to this position over and over and over again so both hands are going to come down you're going to extend the right leg back you're going to take your left arm open it up to the ceiling or as you can, really rotate open further than the ceiling. Good. You're going to come back down, bring that left elbow to the ground. Good. So you can step the right foot back into the squat. Bring the left foot back. Right arm opens up as far as you can. Good. Then right elbow comes down to the ground. Step back into the squat. Good. Right leg back. Left arm open. Left arm down. Three, squat, left leg back, right arm open, right arm down, four, squat, right leg back, left arm open, down, five, squat, left leg back, right arm open, and down, six, right leg back, left arm open, Seven. Left leg back. Right arm open. Eight. Left right arm. Come on. Right leg back. Left arm open. Down. Nine. Squat. Left leg back. Right arm open. Right arm down. Squat. And whew. I think we're gonna do it sideways again. Which one's up? Um, do the first one forward and then second one sideways. Okay. What is this one? This one here that we do. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, so this is a combined quad and hamstring stretch. It's also going to work on your balance. If your balance isn't good enough to get the full stretch, you can always use something to hold on to. All right, so I'm gonna bring my right foot back first. You see how automatically your knee kicks up inside? You wanna keep it close to midline as possible, okay? What you're going to do is keep that, bring that knee back as your trunk comes forward and then you feel a stretch on the standing leg. Good, then you stand back up. Sideways, bring that back, bring that knee in. You're going to extend that knee back as you come forward as far as you can. You're going to really make sure you pull that right knee up to the ceiling and bring it back together. Grab that one. Again. All the way. Really try to keep that, bring that knee to the ceiling. Two. Woo! I'm just waiting for you. And again. But you won't even try to survive you. Again. Four. And I can help Last you one. Side. Five. Yes. Yes. Nice. Grab that left foot. Make sure you pull that right knee back by the start to bend forward. Ready? Go ahead, knees together. Pull that left knee back. Good. One. Knees again. Pull that left knee back. Okay. 
I'm going to do this one. Okay. Okay. Next exercise, we're going to start sitting. Let's the hip 90-90 again. This time, no hands. This is the advanced version. Okay, and we're going to add a little bit of hip extension at the top again. So, legs are going to be in front, shoulder width. You're going to drop them to the left. Good. No hands. You're going to stand up on the front leg. Really squeeze your butt cheek. Go ahead, control. Sit. Neutral. And then to the right side. Good. Two. I'm moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to adjust when you come back. Roll, roll forward. Good. 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 So your legs gonna go out away from your body. And it's okay, if you don't have a lot of internal rotation, it's fine. You're still gonna feel stretched with the leg pivoted out like this. Okay. Hands are gonna remain on the front leg. You're still going to try to go forward with your motion. So you're gonna lunge forward. Good, bring it back. One. And again. Two. Three. I should feel on your knee. It feels a little awkward on mine. I can. Okay. I'm gonna not put it in. Alright, are we ready? Foot pivoted out. You're gonna lunge forward again. One. And again. Two. And again. Three. And again. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine. It is normal for you to feel off balance when you do this, so if you want to hold on to something as you do so you don't feel like you're falling in each direction, that's perfectly fine. If you're doing this correctly, you should feel stretch right here on the hip, so it should be outer hip when you turn that leg out. Also, you won't go as far into this direction just because the hip doesn't move very far into the internal location here. It's very different than trying to do it this way. This is much different than pivoting it into internal rotation, much less range. Okay. All right, next stretch. It's gonna be a lot of upper body. If you need to put your knees down, like we did in level two for this one, that is perfectly fine. But we're gonna start in a plank again. We're going to go into downward dog, into a dolphin pose. So it looks like this. Plank. You're going to push into downward dog, heels down, push your chest to those knees. Good. And then you're going to keep your legs there and your hips there. You're going to go down onto your elbows like this. Good. And then you're going to come back to the plank. Good. Again, downward dog. Really push those heels down. And then bring those elbows down to the ground. Good. And then plank. That's two. Downward dog again. Push those heels down. 
And then elbows down, soften. And plank. Three. Downward dog. Push that chest back. And then heels down, elbows down. Plank. Four. Last one. Five more to the side. Sure, just so you can see what my el what our elbows are doing specifically rather than plank. All right. Go ahead, downward dog, push those heels down. Really try to push your chest to your knees. And you keep your heels and keep there. Slow it down to your elbows. Good. One. Downward dog. partner that is right beside you, please make sure you're doing the same leg at the same time so you don't kick each other by mistake. This is a full scorpion. Your goal again is to try to keep your hands and your chin on the ground the entire time because we're getting that rotation from all the torso and the hips. We're going to do right leg first. You're going to bring it up as high as you can. You're going to open it up. Good. You really want to make sure you try to ratchet that hip open to the ceiling, not bringing that knee down. Go ahead and you're going to bring it Leg back. That's one. Again, up. Touch the ground on the opposite side. Two. Up. Touch. Back. Three. Up. Touch. Up. Four. Up. <clears throat> Touch. Up. Five. Up. Touch. Up. Six. Up. Touch. Up. Seven. Up. Touch. Up. Eight. Up. Touch. Up. Nine. Up. Touch. Up. And top. <laughs> Rest for a little bit, just because it's one hard. And then we're going to do left side in a little bit. If you're doing it right, you should feel it right in my butt cheek. That's lifting that leg up and down. We're just saying feel it. <laughs> this one is significantly harder for the guys to do. I feel like I have a hard time doing my leg up in the back. Mm -hmm. it, just, it feels too tight. Mm -hmm. Alright, are you ready to do left side? Okay, alright. Left leg up and touch. Up, down, up, touch, up, two, up, touch, up, three, up. Four, up, touch, six, maybe, six, six, thank you, up, touch, up, seven, up, touch, up, eight, 
up, touch, up, nine, up, touch, up, ten, well done. So, I don't have a full frog, but this is a really easy way to continue to add extra stretch to really get the hips to rock open. Alright, so, you're going to start on your stomach, feet together, knees apart, best you can. Good. Good. You can let your feet come up since that will be a little bit easier to do it this way, and you want your hips to be on the ground for the most part. If the best you can do is go from ground to your elbows, that's how you do it for the progression. But if you can, you're going to do a full press up with your feet back. Good. We're going to do 10. One. Go ahead and keep your toes together. Two. And again. Three. And again. Really sink those hips down. Four. Five, six, and again, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. Alrighty. All right, you've reached the end. Let's do the hardest one. Let's do the active split. So this is the one where you're going to do without hands completely. Okay. And for this, for this level three stretch, definitely want the front heel to be on the ground and the back toe to be on the ground, not flat. You want it here. Okay. And what you want to do, you want to make sure that your inner thighs are really squeezing together the entire time. Okay? You want to go to about 70% of what your full split is. So for me, I'll be done here. Maybe a little bit shoes. All right, are we ready? Heel and toe. Keep trying to keep those knees straight as possible. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Keep an eye out for level four. Um, before we go, can you explain one more time for me what uh, the active contraction is supposed to do and how that can help us uh, increase the depth of our split? So that's, that is a touch of what we would call mobility, right? Because you can be super flexible, but have no control at the end range of your flexibility. You're like basically just letting everything kind of hang out into full range, but you have no control of what your legs are doing at that point. That's kind of what we're working towards. The secondary aspect of it is I use it more in physical therapy when I'm trying to really work a joint through some ranges that it's really stuck in. You use the muscle that's tight and you really ask it to work so it fatigues out. Once it's fatigued out, it'll stretch out further. So basically the active contraction is then helping you to relax afterwards because it's tired. Yes. So uh, yeah. Does that then make it much easier to go into like a deep split? I wouldn't say much easier, but definitely the more tired the legs get, the easier it should be to push further into a split afterwards. Thanks.